Ah, uh, look at that. It's time for Make It Monday. So we wanted to look outside because it's sunny and gorgeous, but it's really been a heck of a winter, as you already know, uh, and more wintry weather, of course, is going to come before spring is really here. So how can we keep a gorgeous site like that and hope of spring alive? Well, Pinterest expert Jen Poland is here from J Poland Designs, and we gave her this assignment. We said, okay, we want something springy. We want hope. And we want to bring the outdoors in. And so we made your assignment uh, to be make something with moss. Yes. And you already had. Yes. How are you, by the way? Good morning. Good. Good morning. I'm great. So what is the deal with moss? I feel like we see it at the craft stores now. We yeah. see things made of moss all the time. Yeah, moss is so easy. I mean, you can pick up at the craft store, and there's tons of projects you can make. Um, picture frame right there. I love that. A Tell pea. us about making this. Like This is so easy to make. Um, you just buy the adhesive moss. comes in a package like this. Okay, this so it's is about not like a big chunk of moss you've glued on here with a glue nope, gun. Nope. Adhesive moss. Yes, okay. it's adhesive moss, so it's a, a whole circle. Yep. And this, um, the, the, it came with three pieces mm -hmm. for twelve ninety nine. And, and what you do? This. And look at it. it's just like a, so you bought the frame. And the frame is four ninety nine. It's just a wooden frame. That's cute. And all you do is you glue it on with the moss pad, and then you cut out the rectangle for the how cute to have like your kids playing on a lawn or something or yeah. some sort of summery springy again we're trying to bring the spring inside um and, and i love this jar of, of moss stuff you bought yes. I, mean, it, I swear like, you see moss things everywhere yeah now. and that's so easy you know you just pick up a bag of moss at uh joanne's or michael's yep. and then you just can put it in a vase it's really cute it's really I like decorative it. and springy okay so what are we going to make because this looks really cute too so we're going to make one of these it's and it's just, like just like a little, I mean, you could use it as like a centerpiece on the table. Yeah. We were even thinking like, because we're going to stencil something on there, if you're turning 21 or something, you know, you could put the birthday numbers yep. on that. Or you could put your number for your address on it and like make a bigger one. Oh, or you that's could a good idea. Or you could use your last initial for your last name. Well, I mean, it's moss. It could go outdoors, right? Yeah. So how do you make it? So what you do is you take one of these planters and you take a smaller um, saucer and okay. you just put it inside. Okay. And you don't have to glue it or anything. You just no, stick I mean, it, it just it kind of rests in there, yeah. yeah. And then you take a little bit of glue. Okay. And you glue the candle in it so the candle is more It'll secure. Stay. Okay. And then you grab some moss. This is just um, loose moss. This so you could pick what, because there's Spanish moss, which has a bit of a yeah. different look. There's that kind of I like this moss, frankly. Me too. This is my yeah. favorite. They have all different um, moss, so at... Uh, Michael's. Oh, do they? Okay. They have different so colors and different textures. It's different. up to you. Whatever yeah. you want. And um, you just grab some moss, pull it apart. So let me see. Is it like really just? It is like just a chunk. Yeah. Okay. It's I'm making the a thing big is, it's messy. Paint. That's one of the things. Well, kids will love it then. It's okay. So you just sort of outside. play with it, right? And just yep. move it around however you want. Which, yep. You know, we can't really do justice to right now. Oh, that's not. It's actually easy. Yeah. Now that I pull it apart, it's not bad. Yeah. Okay. And then, so the, obviously, I mean, that took all of like 10 seconds. Yeah. Um, what about this stencil? I mean, I always see it's so <laughs> moss all on your paint. I, I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> you can dress her up, can't take her out. All right, so how do we stencil something on there? So you can buy these stencils uh, at Michael's or Duran's. Okay. And they come in a package. Usually they come with letters and numbers. And all you do is you take the stencil. So I'm going to use the number two. Okay. So you take the two. And you okay. kind of hold, hold it, it tight. Hold it tight. You can also tape it. That's another oh, good Oh, that's a good solution. idea. Yep. You just dab a little paint. And you're dabbing. You're not smearing yeah, it on there. Yeah, you're dabbing. That. And you don't need much paint. I mean, sometimes it doesn't come out perfect, but... Oh, but you know what? Even not perfect, it's cute. I yeah. like it. It gives a sort of rustic kind of, yeah. um, you know, like worked in kind of look. So sky's the limit. You could put anything on there. Yep. And those terracotta pots, you can actually paint them too, can't you? You can. And you can even paint them with chalkboard paint, the whole thing. And then like write cute little things like love is That's love or spring is here. You know, the kids can decorate it. It's a great craft for kids. Yeah. And just as we finish here, this pea, um, did you cut that pea out or no? You can buy those as well. I mean, you just covered it with um, moss? Yes. The pea actually looks like this, the background. Oh. And you buy the pea. It's a, just a wooden pea yep. at Michael's, and it's $4.99, Cute I the kids' room. You could do their yeah. name or yep. your monogram initials or something on yep. the wall. And then you just do the same thing as I said about the uh, picture frame. You just take the, the whole pad and just glue it and then cut out the area that needs to be cut out. Oh, that's great. Okay, so this moss stuff, I mean, you know, it, it's nice having it all packaged up and you don't have to go outside and get it and yes. find it all. But is it expensive? Does it cost a lot? 
Um, Moss is kind of pricey. You know, okay. this is six ninety nine, and then the package of these is twelve ninety nine. So it's it so varies. a package. Whoops, twelve ninety nine. You get it says what three of these? Three of those. So could you make the frame and the P and some of these from one yes. package? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so it's, it's expensive, but you can really kind of stretch yes. your dollar with it. Yes. Awesome. And the terracotta pots are so cheap, and candles you can buy cheap anywhere at the dollar yeah, store. Yeah, that's for sure. Ikea so. even, you can yep. get them mm -hmm. really inexpensively. Okay, so check out Jen's uh, page. It's J. Poland Designs on Facebook. Yes. Are you going to post pictures of the crafts yes, so people can I make will. it? Yes, I will. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for having me. All right. Do you feel more springy? I kind of do. And, and the sun outside is helping, Bob. That's right. It's beautiful outside. Doesn't moth always, moss always gathers on the shady side of a tree or a rock, right? True. I've, I've been thinking about moss the whole time you guys were talking. <laughs> And it doesn't gather on a rolling stone, right? We're so glad you were watching. As far as what's going on. <laughs> hey, we have nice temperatures out there, beautiful sunshine, and nice blue skies, too. How long will this last, though, this January thaw? We'll talk about that a little bit later this half hour.